Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is my last Halloween video for 2013. I really hope that you enjoyed the others that I did. But for the last video that I will be doing, I am going to do four very simple DIY Halloween looks for you. And they are so simple because the majority of things you can find in your own closet. So that makes it super inexpensive. And the DIY items are very easy to make, trust me. So I really hope that you enjoy this video and I should say that I'm going to do it a bit differently. I'm going to use one makeup look and build on it for each character that I do. So the first look will be a nerd and then I'm going to build that up to a pirate, then a Minnie Mouse look and finally a kitty cat. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please thumbs it up if you enjoyed my Halloween series. So let's get started. For my eyes, I am adding a white shimmery color to my lids and then warming up my crease with a lighter brown color. And to add some depth and definition to this look, I'm adding a darker brown color to my crease. I'm then going to highlight underneath my brows with a matte white color. And then I'm going to wing out my liner with a very small winged look. I'm going to extend that line and the inner corner of my eyes line my lash line blue to make a pop of color and then I'm taking that white shimmery color and applying it to the inner corners of my eyes to make my eyes look brighter so all I'm doing now is contouring my face with a matte bronzer and then I'm going to add some blush to my cheeks right here and some highlights above my cheeks down the bridge of my nose and right above my cupid's bow so when that is finished I'm adding this beautiful pink color to my lips don't forget mascara, of course, I'm not adding false lashes as yet because it will touch my glasses and I don't want that at all. So here are my specs which I will be putting on and let's get onto the outfit. So my outfit is a white tank which I have with this high-waisted pants and I just have that Rubik's cube for some weird reason because I think my brother was playing with it before. So I have some high socks on and that complements the nude look perfectly and my hair is in two ponytails so that is my first look and now I'm going to use the makeup that I have in this look to build on my next few looks. So for the patch you're going to need elastic that I've already cut and measured so that it will fit around my head black foam as well as a pirate patch, a pair of scissors and a glue gun of course. So what I'm going to do is join the two ends of my elastic and I'm going to let that dry. Then I'm going to fold my black foam and put the pirate patch on it and I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. When it's finished you should end up with something that looks like this so what i'm going to do is just slip that onto my elastic by gluing it on just like this and then gluing around the edges and sticking it together and that is how easy you make a patch for my makeup i'm adding a little bit of gold to my lids and then i'm just going to go ahead and add some dark brown to my crease for some more definition I'm bringing that gold color down right in the inner corner of my eyes and then I'm winging out my look a lot more than I did for my nerd look. I'm also going to put some black eyeliner on my lower lash line and then smudge that out with a brush and then I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face a lot more because pirates tend to be out in the sun a lot. So for that red lip, I'm adding concealer to my lips and then that beautiful red color and I think this is a Russian red by MAC. So that completes my very simple pirate look. So onto the outfit now. I have my red bandana and I'm just going to fold it like this. So I have a big triangle and I'm just going to place that onto my head and tie it behind just like this. And this bandana definitely completes that pirate look, I must say. So my outfit is just basically a white sheer shirt and I tucked it into my black high pants just like this. This, I just think that this was such a simple look to put together and I'm pretty sure that you have most of these items in your closet. First we have our eye patch if you want to be a little more dramatic. So here I have it and I'm going to put it on but I must say that having fake lashes is very traumatizing when you're going to put on this patch so I don't recommend it at all. But this is my final look at my outfit. I just threw on some gold jewelry and that is my final look. I hope you liked it. For the Minnie Mouse ears, you will need some red foam. I have this glittery one, a template which will be available on my blog, a headband, and I prefer these with the grips, a glue gun, as well as a pair of scissors. So let's get started. So you're going to take the red foam, you can use any color that you would like, and I'm going to just fold it into half just like this. I'm going to place the template on the crease and begin to cut it out.
So when that is finished, you should end up with something that looks like this. So I have my two ears right here. So I'm going to take my headband and I'm just going to go ahead and average where I want to stick my ears because like I said, once you stick it, you can't unstick it. So that is how it looks right now. And all I'm going to do is just glue the edges like this and connect them and stick them together just like this. So it sticks really firmly and I'm going to do the exact same thing for the next side firmly sticking it down like this so that is how it looks so now I'm gonna tie a little bow so I have a piece of ribbon and I'm gonna take a long piece just to be sure and I'm just gonna make a normal bow as if I'm tying my shoelaces so once I have my bow I'm gonna cut it from my ribbon and then I'm just gonna cut the edges so that it will have a diagonal just like this I like the angled look and then I have my bow and I think it looks amazing so I'm just gonna put some glue behind just like this and that will make sure that the bow stays in place and then I'm gonna put it right behind the bow itself and stick it down so that's how it looks so for the makeup I'm just gonna take my eyeliner and I'm gonna make a little triangle on my nose just like this so I'm starting by drawing the outline and then now I'm just gonna go ahead and shade it in just like this so that is my little brother running around behind me right now and he is leaving and coming again so when that is finished I'm gonna go ahead and sort of set that liquid liner and I'm gonna use my black eyeshadow from my naked 2 palette so I'm just gonna go ahead and outline it over again just to make sure that it's really precise and the way I want it to be and that is the finished look so simple I hope you like this look because I do a lot it's my favorite look so this is my outfit I have my mini mouse ears which I love and I have a plain black tank top as well as my black and white polka dot peplum skirt which I love and I just added some pearls around my neck as well as I wrapped a strand around my wrist like this I didn't add any more red to my outfit since the ears are so overpowering I would have matched this with some black pumps if you have yellow shoes like mini then I totally advise that you rock it like that but I love my ears so so much especially with that cute little black bow on it I just think this is my favorite outfit so tell me which one you like so far because this is definitely my favorite so I hope that you like it. So for the kissy cat ears, you are going to need black foam, a headband that is preferably thin, about a half to a quarter inch, a template which will be available on my blog as well as a pair of scissors and a glue gun. So I have the template here and the first thing I'm going to do is fold my black foam into half. I just cut a smaller piece. And I'm going to put the template right where it creases like this and then I'm just simply going to start cutting it out. So when that is finished you should end up with something that looks like this and of course I'm going to cut another pair so I have two like these. I'm just going to set aside my two ears and just have an idea of where I want to stick it to my headband before I actually glue them in so I think here is about fine so I'm gonna start I'm gonna glue the headband like this and then place the cat ears on it and then I'm just gonna glue the ears together so that the foam sticks perfectly and once this is done you cannot undo this so make sure that you stick your ears properly so I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the next side and I just tried a different method and I really like this method a lot more so it's basically going to accomplish the same thing so I have my ears like this and I loved how it turned out but I wanted to jazz it up a bit so I have this beautiful pink glittery foam it has two sides but I'm going to use the glittery side I cut two mini triangles and I'm going to place them right in the middle of my ears just like this so that is the first side and of course I'm going to do the same thing for the second side so I end up with something like this so for the makeup, all I'm doing here is just extending that line in the inner corner of my eyes so that it will make my eyes look bigger and more cat-like. I already have the Minnie Mouse nose as you can see so we are going to build on that again and I'm just drawing a line straight down so it will meet my cupid's bow and then I'm just going to shade in my top lip with the black liner. And then I'm just going to set that with black eyeshadow I think this is from the Naked 2 palette and this just really gives it a more cat-like appearance so I'm drawing my whiskers so I'm putting four little dots right 
in this part of my face and then I'm just going to draw three whiskers coming out just like I did from the next side of my face. Here my eyeliner sort of ran out so I just went over it just like this. So here I'm just going to put on a dark pink lipstick and then I'm just going to try to do an ombre. So I'm going to put a lighter pink on top and that is my final look and I really really loved how beautiful this kitty cat look came out. So for my outfit, I just put on a black tank top which was embellished as well as a skirt like this which had some sort of ballerina effect. I just thought it was so cute and I just had on my pearls and I really really love this entire outfit. I think this is my second favorite. I just love my Minnie Mouse as well but you can put anything you want, any color that you want in the cat area. I had pink but you can go ahead and put any color you want. So I really hope that you enjoyed this kizzy cat look. So you guys, that was the end of my Halloween tutorials for this year. I really hope that you enjoyed it and if my voice sounded a little bit off, it's because I am sick right now but I made sure to put this video up for you guys so make sure and give it a huge thumbs up if you like the ideas that I had and don't forget to subscribe on your way out if you haven't already so you won't miss a thing. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!